broken English triathlon videos are back. I hope to post more regular, regular, regu regularly, regular, or more frequently from now on. Today I want to compare my road bike with my time trial bike. I will be riding uh, along the coastal road here uh, towards the village of Podaca and back. Uh, I will ride one bike and then the other one and compare the two, the two results. Uh, the road itself has uh, very little traffic. Uh, it's rolling, so in this loop should be about 65k with about 700 meters of elevation gain. So it's not flat and if we scale that up to half Ironman distance to 90k, that would be almost uh, 1000 meters of elevation gain. And uh, at that point, many triathletes would start to wonder if, uh, if the road bike would suit them better than the time trial bike. About this road, uh, we had a gamble here a few years ago. That's the event, you know, with uh, very rich people driving very expensive cars. And they said that uh, this road was uh, one of the most beautiful roads they've ever ridden on. I understand that the comparison will not be very accurate, will, cannot be 100% accurate because of we don't have lab conditions, but um, it's a sunny, quiet day. It should be, should remain quiet. So I hope that, uh, well, I think that the results will be comparable. And I have uh, power to max power meters on both bikes. So the power numbers should be okay. I will ride the road bike and try to replicate the exact same power on my time trial bike. Uh, the comparison would be, would be better if I had if I had uh, aero bars on my clip-on aero bars on my road bike, but uh, it's not easy to find clip-on aero bars for this aero-shaped uh, handlebars. So I'll have to do it without them, but I will try to remain in my drop bars for as long as possible. I think I will try to be in the drop bars for any time that the speed goes over 25 kilometers per hour. So let's get into it. Let's switch the bikes and finish the thing. Well, it was close to perfect day for such a test. Uh, you can check, you can check the rides here, and uh, as you can see, the difference was eight minutes, which is huge. And if we translate that, scale that up to full Ironman distance, it would be more than 20 minutes. Uh, the power output was uh, almost the same on both rides. Uh, I averaged uh, 225 watts for the first one on the road bike and just uh, one watt more on the time trial bike but one watt is not is, didn't make uh, one watt didn't make the difference today uh, the conditions as said were close to perfect uh, the wind was very very light and uh, it remained like that for the for the duration of the test it's never easy, it's almost impossible to have lab-like conditions, but this was close to that, I would say. And uh, have in mind that uh, if you put uh, clip-on aero bars on your road bike, 
the difference would be far less i would say the difference would probably be half of the of the one i had i had today but still you know that's that's a large large amount of time so if you ask me i would always choose time trial bike maybe only if if i had the uphill time trial then i would consider then i would probably go with the with the road bike unless the gradient is not very steep uh, so ride your time trial bike if you have one get used to it get used to descending on the time trial bike and uh, you will be faster on the on the race day so that's it for today and um, see you again soon i hope ciao